Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today I have a very quick video on Stable Swarm UI and how to install it. It's basically the same installation process as the Automatic 1111 and it's not too hard. However, I did have some issues with Automatic 1111 being installed. Now this is for your Mac installation. I've got a link for this GitHub page and this is on how to install it it's it's an installer for both windows and mac also linux as well by the way now first of all what you do, need to do is install homebrew on terminal so now this guide already assumes that you have homebrew installed on your computer you can install homebrew by just going to brew.sh and all you have to do is copy this little command here, go back into terminal and paste it and that should allow it to do it. Enter your password, press enter and press enter to continue. Don't press any other key other than enter because it'll just abort it. So while it's doing that, let's go back into the GitHub page. This is what nobody will teach you. So when you have installed Homebrew, you should see this thing. So without the Homebrew doctor. So don't worry about all that. Now, this isn't the next step you guys need to do. So what you would want to do is copy from here, from echo to file, okay? Then uh, space two ands and space again, and then copy the rest of this. And you should paste it in here. So it should look something like this. So all of this, okay? Now what I want you to do is enter. It's been done. So it should just go ahead and create those. So what it's doing is just creating some folders for you. So if you put in doctor now, that should be able to give you everything. Your system is ready to brew. So once you get that message, you're actually ready to use it so none of that nobody tells you that so that's a bit of a pain before you do anything you'll need to install xcode so all you need to do is go into terminal and paste xcode that you have to go through now do this side and enter so this is installing .net okay once that is done you'll need to go out of this folder and go, create a folder or go into a folder where you would like homebrew to be installed in okay so now you should get this so it, it's it's been installed so we're doing cd and enter and it's gotten back okay so what i want you guys to do is just go into your own folder and create stable storm swarm and that should be basically where stable swarm would be downloaded and all you have to do is go back into that folder and copy that path into finder and go in there and go in there and now now you're in that folder so what you need to do is now just copy all this stuff here and hit enter so what this will do is this will just copy the whole folder that you need so that's been done now as you guys can see i've got a bit of an error saying that i can't install the said file so and i don't have the permission so i've had my permission denied so i'll just do a workaround now i've spent hours trying to find the workaround so after i've done it it installed everything for me so unfortunately from here on I'll just be commenting on how to do it and what, what to expect rather than a full tutorial as in step by step going through with you guys. But it, it should be really easy to straight to follow it. Okay, so first of all, let's go into the directory I've made. So let's go into where I have made it. So this is where I've made it. So for me to get in there, I'll need to first, let's do ls, which just tells you what directories are there. So it tells you this location over here. So you have to go in here. So in, in, in this part, so you go cd, stable, swarm, 
and enter now you 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 can see here that you've gone into this folder okay so now you need to go into this folder so you go cd again and stable swarm ui enter so now you can see that this has changed so you're in this folder so what you need to do is run this command so the problem i was having is it wasn't letting me run it okay so let's see what i've changed so you go ls and it'll tell you exactly what's in there but if you go minus l so and then enter it'll actually tell you what sort of privileges you have so for example let's take this first one up here okay so for this i have read and write read and read so these two are like for other purposes so let's say let's go into this so that's the file here that i'm looking at so if we look at the permission for staff for everyone else it's read only for me it's read and write okay but i can't edit it so for that so you see those x's there for edits okay so they're the edit sign so as you can see now if you look through to this one so it, as you can see i have changed it so there's an x there that should have been rwrr if you are getting that error so now what to do to change it so to change it all you need to do is go cd mod okay plus plus x so lowercase x and then just put the file name so we're changing this file so that file so we're in mac, in in mac so we're launching it with this so then what it'll do is it'll put this x into there in into that file so that's where i've got it from okay but we're not doing that now so let's get that let's get rid of all this and let's just launch it okay and the command to launch this is so you go you go dot slash okay that's all you got to do to run a command so launch space mac os sh file and that that should be it so now i'm rerunning it so obviously it's gone into into the ui okay but yours wouldn't be okay so yours would give you a few options it'll give you four options the four options are for your model files you need to click all of them okay ensure that you've clicked all of them and after after you've clicked all of them and next and next there's about six steps of it it'll download it it'll take forever if you have a not a super fast internet you'll be downloading between 12 to 16 gigs and that's a lot so you'll be downloading that after you've done that it should run and it sh you should come into this that's basically it how to install it by the way if just a pro tip in here if you want some models installed so you go back here go into the, your models so if you go to civic civit ai and download some models so you need to go into models then stable diffusion official stable diffusion and that's where you can install some of the custom models okay and that's basically it guys straightforward simple and you'll have all your models in here stable diffusion and that's all the models in here that you have and that's basically it thank you for watching this quick tutorial to the end i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below how i can change it or what any other ideas if you have thank you so much for watching it to the end take good care bye bye